Hi, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a bit of a minute since I've filmed, done anything. Um, I've been, I've been dealing with a lot. I basically just like full transparency. I think I was on the brink of a mental breakdown like this entire quarantine and then I broke down. So <laughs> um, I had to take a bit of a mental health break. There's been a lot going on in my personal life. Like there's a lot that I share like on social media, but there's also a lot that I don't. Um, and so a lot has been going on personally and I've just been needing to deal with it. And like, I know it's so annoying when people are like, oh my God, like so much is going on, blah, blah. And then they like, don't tell you, but like, I'm not gonna tell you mainly because like, I don't wanna talk about it. I'm talking to a therapist, like that's all that matters. So that's kind of where I've been and what I've been dealing with. But I'm starting to feel a little bit ish back to myself. Um, but as you can tell, I'm back in my apartment. I've been here now for like a month, which is crazy because like, I don't know, I feel like last time I was on YouTube, I was just like, in it. I don't even fucking know. So I've been here for about a month. It's been so nice to be here. Um, my roommate has been here with me, but she's not here right now because she is on Long Island for some stuff. So quarantine is like, I mean, I don't know, like I feel like it's been lifting for a lot of places, but it's only really started to lift here in the past couple weeks. So phase two is starting this week, which means like outdoor dining and things like that. So that's really exciting to like be able to go to a restaurant. Hopefully summer's not completely canceled. And yeah, so for this video, basically what I wanted to do is kind of a what I'm loving favorites type of thing. I've been ordering like so much clothing and all these things that I wanted to share. So we'll probably do some clothes, some bathing suits, what I'm listening to, what I'm reading. I've been doing a lot of reading um, because I've had to fill my days up with things that aren't social media, which honestly I recommend taking a break when you can because it really is good for the soul. So without further ado, let's get into this week's video. Also, I'm in the middle of editing, um, but before we get started with this video, I just want to point out, I did change the name of this channel to Margo. I'm rebranding it to just Margo. I don't know, it kind of feels like the adult thing to do, and I kind of like it better, like just like I like the way that it sounds, like Margo's YouTube channel. By no means my retiring snitch, like bitch, it's on my tits. Um, and the snaps are like still staying the same, just I kind of wanted to make it more a bit adult. So. This is now Margot's YouTube channel. I've been wanting to do it for a while, but I was like waiting for the right time. Then I was gonna wait even longer. And then I was like, oh, you just took a month off. Like why not come back and just rebrand? So welcome to Margot's YouTube channel. And I just wanna thank the woman behind all of the designs that you'll see, Lindsay Perosky. She has been such a gem. She is so talented. I've been so annoying and she's been so great. So I just wanna say thank you for helping me with this rebrand. I truly appreciate it. So let's get this video started. Okay, sorry, I wanted to change because I just shut the air off for the video and it was hot as fuck in the romper, in the robe. I wanna get started with what I'm reading, what I'm listening to, just because I don't feel like um, getting dressed yet, but I'm, I've started getting all my shit together. Okay, so let's start with what I've been reading. I actually thought I had been reading like way more, but I hadn't. So what I've read, I read Codename Helene, which was um, a redhead's book. It was so good, extremely long, but really good. And I've never really loved like historical fiction, even though it's based on true story. It's actually a really great book. And it's a really good story. I'm in the middle of, I know why the cage bird sings by Maya Angelou. Given the current climate, I've been taking the time to really educate myself and I hope everybody else has too. So these are kind of some of the ways I've been doing that. Um, by like reading, watching, listening, and all those things. So it's really important and you should get educated because knowledge is power. And then also I have on deck, which someone actually just recommended this one to me. It's called Tell Me Who You Are by Winona Guo and Priya Volchi. Just heard about it. I heard it's actually really good. So once I finish the Maya Angelou book, I will be reading that one. And then I'm also in the, I've been recently doing I used to never be someone who could read two books at one time, but I keep like bopping back and forth. I guess it's like being, being in the middle of like a bunch of different TV shows, which I do often, so whatever. 
Um, I'm also in the middle of Majesty by Catherine McGee. I don't know if I've spoken about this on my YouTube, but one of my favorite books ever is American Royals by Catherine McGee, which is, it's relatively new um, and I loved it. And it was like such a good book and the sequel's coming out in September and they had sent me an advanced copy. So I like had got it a couple months ago, but like I just didn't want to read it because like I just didn't want to like spoil it for myself yet, but I've been reading it and it's so good. So if you haven't read American Royals, I absolutely recommend it that way when the sequel comes out you can read it because it's just it's such a treat it really is so that's I guess what I've been reading wow that's it I really thought I had been reading more hmm okay I that is what I have been reading next let's see what I've been listening to let's start with podcasts I've actually been loving podcasts which I usually like don't really I don't know why I, I just feel like because I do a podcast I just never really listened to them, but I've been listening to so many. They're quite enjoyable. I understand why everyone loves them so much. So the ones that I've been listening to are 1619, which is basically just like the history of American slavery and kind of more about black history, which I mean, I feel like it was important to revisit because like, yes, I had learned about it, but I haven't like learned about it in a long time. And then Higher Learning with Van Lathan and Rachel Lindsay, which is just so good, which is more about like current events. And honestly, I could listen to Rachel Lindsay talk all day and it's just like really important to just like hear about other people's lives and perspectives and stories and that's kind of what I've been doing so I've just um, been trying to incorporate this all into my everyday life and not just make it a moment um, and then I've also weirdly been listening to obviously this is completely um, on different side of things I've been listening to call her daddy I never really listened to it I obviously always thought like knew what it was but then when all the drama went down I was like okay like now I need to see where this goes and it's actually pretty good. The only thing I'll say, say about it is like, sometimes like we were listening to an episode, me and Nicole, like in the car the other day. And it's like, sometimes like they'll start speaking and like talking about like crazy stuff. And like, I literally like, we can't even look at each other. Like, it's just like so uncomfortable, but then like, it's so weird. Like we'll switch off, we'll like listen to an episode of 1619 and like, we'll be like, wow, this is so good. Like so well produced, 1619 is so well produced. Like the sound quality is just, and then we'll listen to Call Her Daddy and I'm like, oh my God, I'm not in the car with you. That's just a little fun fact. Okay, and that's, I think those are the only podcasts I've been listening to. I feel like three is a lot. And then music. Honestly, there's been such good new music coming out, which I'm so grateful for because like, I just love music. That's really the way that like, I connect with things or like can understand things. Like I love lyrics as like lame as that sounds. And honestly, so much good new music has been coming out about like, just like all the racial injustices in the world and like the current climate and it's like, Personally, everyone is different of like how they connect to things, but like I connect most to music. So like these songs have just been like really helping me and honestly educating me because these people are telling their stories in their lives. And honestly, they're like also just really good songs. Like um, there's Black Like Me by Mickey Guyton, G-U-Y-T-O-N. Worldwide Beautiful by Kane Brown, which is such an amazing song. Black Parade by Beyonce, which I'm sure everybody knows. Um, Sweeter by Leon Bridges. There's just, there's been a lot of good new stuff and I'm sure by the time this video comes out, there will be more. Um, and then also just a lot of good new songs that I've been loving. Oh, oh my God, Control by Zoe Weiss, W-E-E-S. Oh my God, it is so good. I literally cannot stop listening to that song. It's so, it's fire, it's so good. How They Remember You by Rascal Flatts, which is, I'm just confused because like Rascal Flatts said they were breaking up and then they like announced their farewell, farewell tour and like I got tickets and then like COVID happened and so they canceled their farewell tour and like now they put out a new song. I'm not mad by any means. I'm just um, confused. Like, are you guys broken up? Then, oh, Dreams by Ella Ear, E-Y-R-E. -E. And then like, honestly, if everybody could like stop writing songs about like fathers, that would be really nice because like, I don't have one and like it's just kind of triggering however like all the songs are so good and I love songs like that so honestly man the man who loves you the most by Zach Brown band build me a daddy by Luke Bryan um it's just like why am I doing this to myself and then there was another one that I had ju I just added it to my star that I found on TikTok oh half the man by Jennifer Smestad I don't know everyone's writing about dads I guess because like it was father's day but I actually really like it. Oh, Gabby Barrett, new album called Goldmine came out. She really like is such a carry under what it's crazy. The Chloe X Halle al album, Ungodly Hour, stream it, listen to it, 
fire. Kings and Queens by Ava Max. Oh, I can't stop listening to that song. That is so good. Honestly, I, I've been listening so much. I'm not gonna like name every single song that I listen to. I do have a, a playlist called Snatcher Songs, which I add to like every week when I do Snatcher, but Snatcher's on, on a hiatus, probably until like September, just because I wanna do it when there's a new show on. I know like The Bats or Goat is on. I haven't really been watching it and like, I'm just not interested in it. And I just kind of needed a break from the Snatch. And I just kind of wanna get on a schedule of doing episodes when there's when seasons are on and then when there's no seasons I won't do it and things like that um and also now that I'm coming back to YouTube it's like one thing at a time and to be honest I like YouTube a little bit better so that's why I'm I'm coming back to this one first um but yeah that'll be probably back in September but I'm still gonna up, update the snaps songs every week because I like like to consider myself a music influencer and I like to share what I'm listening to so yeah the more you know oh watching what have I been watching I feel like I haven't really been watching that much. Oh, I watched The Hate You Give. Oh my God, such an incredible movie. Like, Just Mercy, Ball My Eyes Out. Like, I just, everyone should watch these movies. What I have on deck, I wanna watch 13th and When They See Us. But I don't know, what, like, I haven't now been watching TV. What the hell have I been doing? I don't know. Also, new season of The Politician came out, which I really wanna watch. And I also heard about this show called Yellowstone, which, I apparently it's quite popular and it looks very much like I'd like it so I want to watch that as well okay that is some of my favorite things that I've been listening to watching reading all that fun stuff um, and now let's get into my favorites of some of the new clothing that I've gotten okay now we are gonna do clothing I want to start with jean shorts because if you follow me on Instagram like a month or month and a half ago I asked you guys for best shorts for someone who's like not tiny and like has an ass and everyone said a gold or a goldie shorts and I got three pairs with the intention of returning some and then you guys wanted me to do a review which I haven't gotten to which I'm gonna do now and then I also just got a lot of shorts from American Eagle so I'm about to try on a shit ton of shorts and see which ones we like the best jean shorts are the hardest things for me to get like the right thing of just because I do have such strange body type and I don't like them too short but I don't like them too long that I can, like I can't get them too cheeky and like it's hard for um me not to get shorts that don't turn into denim underwear so I'm gonna start with the three a goldie shorts okay so these are the three pairs these are like how am I supposed to find out which ones are which I'm not sure I'll just figure it out once I'm editing so I got these Everything in a size 27. That's normally what I am. Everyone said to me that you're like, size up, size down. Like no one gave me a right thing. So I just got my normal size. Then I got these. And then I got these. I've been kind of living in them since I got them. So let's get started. I wanna say that these are the Parker. These I'm pretty sure are my favorite. Okay, these are probably the most perfect shorts I've ever owned. They are perfect in length. If you can see, they're not too short and they're not too tight, which is the hardest thing here, wait. They're not too tight, which is like, it's so hard because I have like a smaller waist and bigger thighs. So like, it's hard to find something that's not too big on the waist, that's not too tight on the thighs. So these are actually perfect. I'm very thrilled with these. I'm pretty sure these are the Parker. If they're not, I'll correct myself here, but I would highly recommend getting these shorts. They definitely lived up to the hype. Now I'm gonna try on these ones. I wanna say they're called like Jaden or something. And I know they, you think they're the same, but they're not. Okay, yeah, I just did my own research. So the, one, the other ones that I was wearing was the Parker cutoff shorts. Those are the ones I love. These are the Jaden high rise. These are great. These are. A little bit more high rise than these um, but they are a little more tight and they are kind of going up my area so but like they are they're, they're longer in the back than shorter in the front they just like are giving me that issue of like you know going up um, but they're also just really cute and really good shorts so I think that I will keep them because I do like that these are more high rise and sometimes some things call for a shorter short than a longer short. So I'm gonna keep them mainly because I'm pretty sure I was lollygagging for too long and I missed the return date because I fucking suck. So next we have these. These are all, these are the Parker shorts. So these, the first ones were the Parker 
vintage cutoff favorite. These are the Jaden High Rise, and then these are just the regular Parker shorts. Okay, here are these. These are probably my least favorite. They're just like super, they don't do anything for me, you know, like they're not that high rise. Um, they're like, I'm not crazy about the cut. They're just like kind of bland. Um, and they're not that flattering. I really, if, I think I'm gonna try to return these. Um, but like I said, I might've missed that, that date. So if not, it's always good to have a pair of black jean shorts because I actually don't have. Um, but definitely like not my favorite. Okay, now we have shorts from American Eagle. These are like, these are denim underwear, but they're very comfortable, like extremely stretchy. I'm wearing a six. Um, these are the high rise super stretch and like they're they're very comfortable. Those are way more like jean rigid shorts. By the way, I looked it up. Um, Revolve, who knew, had a 60 day return policy. So I'll be returning the black ones. Um, but yeah, this is, these are just cute. And like, I feel like these are like those shorts are shorts I would like really have to like take care of and things like that. These feel like shorts, I can do whatever the fuck I want in them and they'll always just bounce back, you know? So I actually don't hate these. They're just a little bit of denim underwear, but we'll see what's next. Okay, next we have these. I don't normally like this. I don't know, I just don't think it's forgiving on my thighs, but these are the high rise next level stretch. Um, and once again, very comfortable. I actually think I like these maybe a little bit better than the other ones. Um, they're just like really cute and they feel longer and I feel more covered. Um, actually, don't hate them. They're very cute. Okay, and lastly are these shorts. These are the 90s boyfriend mid-length shorts in white, clearly. These are a four. The others have been a six. I wonder why I got a four. Maybe they just didn't have a six. Um, these are actually super cute. I don't normally love a boyfriend cut on me, but these are super cute and I feel like these could look like really cute either with a crop top or with like a big t-shirt. It's just like cute chill vibe. So those are my jean shorts review. Obviously I love the Goldie. I mean, the first pair that I tried on are just like, are the shorts that I need for the rest of my life. But let me know which ones you guys like. And if you think I'm making a mistake by returning the black, even though I don't think I am, I really just don't like them. But now I want to get into some clothes that I've gotten. Okay. So I've just been buying things from random stores like Instagram stores. And the thing is about Instagram stores, is that they take forever to come. Like literally I've been placing orders like maybe over a month ago, like still haven't even gotten a shipping confirmation. And that's probably on me, but nevertheless, I wanna show you some stuff that I've got. So I got this from a store that I found on Instagram called Shop Resurrection. Very cute stuff. I wanna go through the things that I got. This is my first time looking at them. Oops. this cardigan oh that is so cute I'm gonna put that on with this I feel like it'd be cute just so busty I'm gonna go put on my favorite shorts okay yeah this is so cute with a real bra um I love this actually I feel like cardigans are like it right now so I'm really happy with this purple is my favorite color and I just feel like this is super duper cute. Okay, next we have something. I might have to go like look at what it is. This is a shirt. So I think like this really should come with like instructions. Like this is obviously the back. I need to pull, I'm gonna put a picture of like what this is supposed to look like. I'm gonna go off camera for this one. Okay, I think I got it. Um, like, I know like I usually wear like, you know, crazy uh, revealing things, but this is just a little too much, I think maybe. I just don't really think you're supposed to have like big, a big chest when wearing this shirt. Um, I just feel like a nipple is gonna pop out like at any second. <laughs> Um, but it's like kind of cute. I don't know. I have to live with this. I feel like I'm like, can you see my nipple? Um, I feel like I have to live with this one for a little before I decide. Also, like, I just have a feeling that like returning it might be a huge fucking bitch. So 
let me know what you guys think. Also, like, I really hate returning things. I don't know why. They just seem like, it seems like such a hassle, so I'd rather just make it work. But, like, it's kind of really cute, but, like, I don't know. Lastly, we have this, which is my favorite of the things that I ordered. It's so cute, so I'm going to put that on. Okay. So, this is a medium, and every time I move, it unzips, and like, I can't tell if I like it. I don't know if I would wear it with these shorts, but I think it's kind of cute. I feel like these are one of those things that like looks great in an Instagram photo once, and then like in person it looks fucking weird. I like the idea of it. I'm just like not obsessed with like the execution of it. Or maybe it's just too small. I don't know. I like, I really want to kind of make it work, but I don't think it's doing anything for me. Okay. I'm going to ruminate on this, but I really thought like I was going to like adore this, but I waited so long for this order and it was just like, okay. Now I want to do some bathing suits because I've been getting some really cute bathing suits. I'll be back in two seconds. Okay, now I'm gonna do the bathing suits. I was, the sirens, I just can't. Um, I was gonna try them all on for you and like be cute, but um, I'm just like not that confident and I just, I just don't want that on the internet. So I'm just gonna show you and talk through them. Also, if you like this sweatshirt, it's from Bro Denim and they make like custom sweatshirts. Their stuff is so cute. I have two. This is, it's actually the cutest thing and it's so soft. Okay, now. First is this bathing suit. Where did I put the bottoms? Oh, I think I'm wearing the bottom. No, I'm not. Okay. First is this bathing suit from Forever 21. I, it was, I think, $12.99 a piece. Yeah, so it was like $24, $25. Honestly, I just tried it on. Obviously, it doesn't fit like amazing, like, but it's a really cute bathing suit from Forever 21 that I think I'll really enjoy this summer. I, they only had a large left, so I got a large, which is fine. Um, I think I'll probably take the padding out of this bathing suit because the last thing I need is um, larger boots. So that's one, so cute. Next, I got, I bit the bullet and I got a bathing suit from Frankie's Bikinis. This is what I'll say. Love the pattern, so cute. Love the top. I think because like it's like a sports bra kind of like fit and I love sports bras, but the bottoms, are extremely small and I think that I remember trying to find like the least cheekiest bottom that I could but maybe it's just that I have a big bottom but it's just like very cheeky and I'm not that confident but maybe like one day if I'm like feeling really um drunk and like I'll and confident I'll be able to wear it or I can also just wear it like with this and like shorts covering my booty so so cute but I think you might have to have a small butt for that um next okay next I want to talk about Shore brand. Their bathing suits are so cute and so well fitting. These are the bottoms and they have really good bottoms, which for me is just the hardest part, hardest thing to find. Um, these are the bottoms. I love the color. This is just like my color. Um, and this is the top. And then it comes with a matching mask. Like so freaking cute. You can have like a whole moment. And then also from Shore brand is this bathing suit. And these bottoms, the bottom, these bottoms are great actually. I know I just said that, but they're really good. These bottoms, this top, and as well, a matching mask. Like, so cute. And then lastly is this bathing suit from Monday Swimwear. Like, I don't know what was taking me so long to order for Monday Swimwear because like everyone had been raving about it. I don't know how I got my hands on this color because I know it sold out so quickly, but like I just did at like 4 a.m. one night. This is the Maui top. It is just so perfect. Like, it really is just like the suit that fits me the best. And then this is the Byron bottom. They have a million different kinds of tops and bottoms in all of their colors. So you just find the one that you think will work best for you. I know that I need one that's like kind of like a bra that like really just like keeps your chi chis up. And then this is the Byron bottom in. So this is a medium, this is a small. That was an accident, I meant to get a medium, but like it was 4 a.m. and I just like clicked and clicked and then all of a sudden I had a small bottom. Um, but it actually fits great. Obviously like I think if I had a medium, it'd be a bit better. So if I got another one, I would just get in a medium, but like not enough for me to like return or stop me. Um, 
but yeah this I highly recommend these bathing suits um just you know if you or buy a pool all summer, which I won't be. I don't even know why I'm buying, buying bathing suits. But anyway, now that's all of my latest purchases. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it, what you think of the shorts, what you think of that blue shirt. Because the more that I think about it, the more I like literally want to cut it out of this video. Okay, I think I'm going to end the video here. Let me know if you enjoyed this. Um, I feel like I could do like so many more of these because I feel like I missed so much. And I also wanted to, another favorite is these Puma sneakers that I just got. Sickening. So that's just what I've been enjoying um i'm happy to be back kind of nervous but happy nonetheless i love you guys please subscribe to my channel if you like this video please give it a thumbs up let me know what you think in the comments if you like these things if you want me to do more what you thought of that blue shirt like do i keep it i kind of like it now i don't know anyway i love you guys thank you for watching and see you next week maybe